Hi, I'm Lori Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program, and today I have for you a master closet makeover, and I'm going to share with you some tips that are particular to the master closet area of the house, but first, I want to show you these amazing before and after pictures that we have. The before you see here was a wire-based shelving system that was put in by the builder. The homeowner had been living with this for many years and it was just kind of okay but the contents outgrew the space and certainly outgrew the system that they had so we ripped out happily all of those wire shelving pieces that were um, really kind of almost falling apart and we we patched the walls and we painted the walls a gray color that matched the rest of the master suite so it kind of made the closet feel more unified with the area of the house and then it even made this white closet system really pop against the wall. So we've been really happy to come in here and look at it. It just makes us feel good. <laughs> so we've had a lot of fun with this installation. I used the Closet Made Selectives line for this closet. And I really like this for having a custom closet look at a DIY price. So you can get this at Home Depot. You can go on closetmade.com and have their designers help you put together a design with your measurements and then you install it yourself so you've got this great built-in look you can have drawers here or you can leave this open with uh, shelves instead and you can also put cabinet doors on these pieces basically this is a floor based system that you install by just pre-assembling the, the cabinet units like this piece here and the corner unit we have and then you simply place those rest it on the floor and they secure against the wall so it feels very sturdy and again looks very built in and nice so uh, we really had fun with this um, I wanted to point out with uh, you know master closet areas they're often connected to the master bathroom and sometimes the master bathroom doesn't have enough linen closet storage and we're finding ourselves frequently uh, you know, overflowing the linen closet storage into the master closet. So here we just made it official, you know, don't be afraid to do that. If you need linen closet storage, build that into your design. So we did here, we've got sheets and blankets that needed to be stored here, and we left them here on open shelves so that was easy to locate right off the bathroom. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out about master closets is that they're typically walk-in closets. So when you walk into the closet, don't forget to turn right back around and look at the door for storage because there, there's an entire other wall there, not only the back of the door like we often talk about on my videos, but the wall around the door. So you can see in this picture we've got hats, we've got tote bags, and we really maximized that space with just some simple hooks. So don't forget about that other wall that you can take advantage of. Another thing about master closets is that since they are typically the largest closet in the house, they often will house a lot of keepsakes and memorabilia. So we figured that into the design too. Here you can see that we have some um, heirloom Afghan blankets and quilts and baby blankets and they are stored up high out and away from the rest of the daily flow of getting dressed but that is appropriate for a master closet there are things that are family heirlooms that need to stay somewhere safe and they don't need to be in the garage or some space where um, they don't have climate control so figure that into your design too. ask for exactly what you want and you just might get it I hope you've enjoyed these tips today and I hope you like our little before and after. If you want to see a lot more closet tips, we have a whole playlist about closets on our YouTube channel. You can see us at clutterdiet.tv. We'd love for you to subscribe and love for you to comment and interact with us there. We'll see you next time and may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough.